So I tested the AJ219 on Counter-Strike and on Warzone to give you my thoughts on whether this mouse performs. In terms of shape, because 3395s, I already do have a level of trust for that sensor. So out of the box, you get the manual, the cable, the dock, and the mouse itself. The charging dock is well built and looks sturdy. Doesn't feel cheap at all. I like that it's got RGB. Though I'm not a fan of RGB, I really do like how this looks. It's got tape underneath for if you'd like to keep this firmly positioned on your desk. The cable isn't paracorded though, but it's flexible enough to be used when you want this wired. Now for the mouse, it weighs only 60 grams. Its feet has rounded edges and glides really smoothly on my non-coated control pad. Given its build, I would not change anything. Its shape felt weird at first, since I'm used to higher buttons. As you can see, it's higher in the middle and the down slope is pretty aggressive. I feel like its shape is made for claw grippers, but palm and fingertip works as well. After a few games, its shape no longer bothers me and complements my claw grip too. By the way, my hands are really small and this mouse fits it perfectly, so I would say this is on the smaller side of the scale versus other mice on the market. I love how the thumb buttons are not placed too far away. My short thumbs do not feel stressed. Just like my back. Check out my chairs on Muso's website down in the description below. If you upgrade your chair, be sure to use my referral link and get me a cup of coffee. Quick comment on the side buttons though. They aren't too thick and protruding, which kind of gives it a feminine look. So another side comment on the buttons of the AJ219. It's got the DPI plus and minus here, which you can key bind to either a macro or to a keyboard button. It's not game changer, but it's a very good feature, especially for those who use that middle button to like mount their gun on Warzone, which I do. Anyways, onto the software. It's got everything from macros to keybinds, and I can't see anything to complain about. Since I bought this, it hasn't died on me yet. I have been using this for approximately eight hours of gaming already. So this sells for about 47 US dollars or 2.5 K Philippine pesos. Do I think this is worth it? There are cheaper options in the market if you're out looking for a 3395, such as the ML602, which I got for about 1.6K. That's what I've been using the past few weeks before this came. Now, it has a shape of a viper, ambidextrous, and I think that would fit most of your hands. But if you're looking for a mouse with a dock, for now, this is the cheapest in the market. I could be wrong. If I am, comment down below. Let me know. This is Biba Hernero. Don't forget to not subscribe. <laughs>